in, everybody. Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, I have your WrestleMania 38 full show predictions and preview. You guys know that Saturday night and Sunday night, we have WrestleMania's night one and two, two-night event. I think there's about seven or eight matches on each night. Not the best-looking WrestleMania, man. Not the best-looking WrestleMania by a long shot. Lots of matches on this card that I am just, one, truly not invested in, two, don't give a damn about, or three, just don't feel they should be on the WrestleMania card at all. And my man Finn Balor and Ricochet are just sitting their ass at the house. Not only are they two great in-ring performers, but they represent the United States and Intercontinental Championships, which makes me sick. I don't know how they're not on this card. They may be on the card at the time you're seeing this. Maybe they've been added, hopefully so. But at the time of recording, have not been added, man. So here we sit, WrestleMania, and you have 14, 15 matches featuring a lot of people that aren't even wrestlers, or lack thereof wrestlers. And your two mid-card champions are sitting at the house. What a sickening day of events. But anyways, man, we're going to dive into WrestleMania 38, breaking down all of the action. I'm going to give you guys my predictions for each match, where I think they go from here, what I expect out of the show, and just everything overall, man. So with all those things being said, let's dive into WrestleMania 38 and see what comes of it. Yeah, speaking of which, look at him over there. Look at him, just chilling at the house on the couch. Shaking my head. All right, guys, so on night one, we are starting things off. I know that this is going to be on the show at some point, right? The KO show with Stone Cold Steve Austin confronting Kevin Owens. And I love Kevin Owens, and Stone Cold Steve Austin is one of my favorites of all time. So I am actually looking forward to this interaction very much. I think it's going to possibly steal the entire show or the weekend, possibly, potentially beginning with however this thing goes. But Stone Cold Steve Austin coming out to Kevin Owens here should be a nice, fun little brawl. They're not, you know, making it a match or anything like that. So you don't ruin the lure of Stone Cold Steve Austin's legendary career and his last matchup with The Rock, which I do appreciate. I do not like how this came about. I feel like it could have been a lot cooler or uh, done a lot better. But seeing Kevin Owens, one of my favorite current guys and one of my all-time favorites in Stone Cold Steve Austin going head-to-head -head here should be really fun. I'm just hoping for a fun interactment, maybe a stunner, send the people home happy. I'm guessing Stone Cold Steve Austin's gonna beat the hell out of Kevin Owens. That's what I expect, but we'll see. I just expect some cool things to take place and hopefully it'll be awesome, but I expect Stone Cold Steve Austin to open a can of whoop -ass. Next up, we have our Raw Women's Championship match, Becky Lynch and Bianca Belair. I expect fully for Bianca Belair to win this matchup after everything that we've seen take place. Becky Lynch buried her or beat her in like five seconds. You guys remember way back when. I think it was SummerSlam of last year. And now we have this matchup here for the Raw Women's Championship. I'm going to go Bianca Belair. Hopefully, this will be a very good match. It's two of my favorite women in WWE, so that should be really fun. On night one, this is one of the standout matches on the card, so hopefully this one does deliver. But I'm going to go Bianca over Becky Lynch. Lynch. I don't think we really need to put too much thought into it. It just makes the most sense. It writes itself. I hope for a damn good match. Next up, we have our tag team match. We have Rey Mysterio and Dominic Mysterio taking on The Miz and Logan Paul in a tag team match, man. This is one of those matches I do not care about, man. I do not care about it, you know. Any celebrity matchups, I just tune out a little bit, you know. I just I, I just can't get into it, really. I don't like celebrities around my wrestling. If you have a former athletic background, it helps. And I know Logan Paul is a formidable athlete. He may even be a better athlete than The Miz. Probably is, to be honest with you, but I just can't get into it. It's one of those matches that I don't really care for. It'll probably be entertaining. I'm sure it will be. It's just not one that I very much care about that much, but I'm going to go with, I'm going to go with Logan Paul and The Miz. I don't know why. I just feel like they're going to win. You know, Logan Paul did get destroyed by Kevin Owens, so I think, you know, they, they pick up the win here over the father-son combo. Kind of embarrassing, but I think they're going to get the job done. Next up is the SmackDown Tag Team Championship match. The Usos, Jay and Jimmy defending against Shinsuke Nakamura and Rick Boogs. Another matchup I just Good God, man. I think that Shinsuke is fantastic. I love the Usos. Rick Boogs is just one of those guys that gets on my nerves. It has, has a very early Trash Corbin vibe, but on the babyface side, where it's just, I just can't take him seriously. I don't want to watch him perform. I don't really care about things uh, about things when he's on television. So it's really hard to enjoy the things that he's involved in here, but I just hope for a good match. I mean, when it's, when it's a match that I don't care for, I have no investment in, I just hope for an entertaining and fun wrestling match, which is what a lot of Night One is about for me. So, Drew McIntyre, the Usos retain against Shinsuke and Rick Boogs. I just don't see enough here for Shinsuke and Rick Boogs to get the W. I'm going to go oh, with the Usos retaining. It just makes the most sense here. And for the love of God, let these guys be on the main show again in their career, please. Another match, another one that I do not give a damn about, man. Drew McIntyre taking on Trash Corbin with Madcap Moss. Trash Corbin and Madcap Moss could not be a worse pairing, man. Two guys that I just do not care about, bro. Like, I just do not care about them. I love Drew McIntyre. I think he's fantastic. 
I hate that he's having to, you know, put up with this around WrestleMania season. Hopefully he can get into things more intriguing down the line. But this matchup right here is just one of those that I do not, I do not care. I could not care less. I could not give any more less of a damn about this match. And so I'm going Drew McIntyre, man. I hope Drew McIntyre destroys both these men and sends them on their on their way. We have matches like this on the card, but I can't see my boy Finn Balor perform the and defend the U.S. title. I can't see my boy Ricochet get out here and defend the IC title. I mean, what are we doing? Drew McIntyre, please take care of these fools. Next up, man, we have the tag team match, the New Day, Xavier, and Kofi Kingston taking on Sheamus and Rich Holland with Butch. It's Pete Dunne. But another matchup that's just not WrestleMania worthy, you know, I know we have a bit of a blood feud here, especially with the Big E injury and, you know, kind of the causation of that and all those different things, man, but it just doesn't say WrestleMania. I do not think... I think that they could have easily made WrestleMania a one-night event with maybe eight to ten matches and cut a lot of this card out that we're getting on night one and night two. Add Finn Balor and Ricochet. So many different things they could have done here, man, but nonetheless, I'm gonna go with New Day getting the win here after everything going on and make a cool WrestleMania moment for New Day. Get the win for Big E. That's what I'm going with here. Hopefully it's a good match. Sheamus is very underrated in the ring. He always brings it. I know that this matchup will probably deliver. It's just one that I'm not invested in. Next up, guys, we do have Seth Rollins taking on Vacant, or TBA Vacant to be announced. Mr. McMahon will announce Rollins' opponent on the night of the event. Then, my God, if it's not Cody Rhodes, I don't know what to say, man. I really don't know what to say. If it's not Cody, I've seen reports all over that it could be a bunch of different people, so I really don't know what to say, man. I mean, I could see it being Shane McMahon, like, no doubt about it. I could see it being Shane McMahon. I could see it being, like, Veer or Jinder Mahal or something just random, wacky off the wall, like a swerve curveball to punch all the AEW marks in their faces. But I think that uh, I'm just, for the sake of it, I'm just going to go with the safe bet, man. I'm going to roll with Cody. I'm going to predict that it's Cody and we get a really cool matchup here on night one. One that I am looking forward to. Hopefully, you know, we do get this matchup and it does deliver. But I think Cody is the guy and Cody goes over Seth Rollins here at WrestleMania in a big return matchup. We'll get another, you know, few matches out of this going into the summer. Be a nice summer feud. And I have Cody beating Seth Rollins here to throw us off with that but hopefully it's just a great matchup but I hope to God that it is Cody so we can see him in WWE here and all those different things man but I'm going Cody and hopefully that will be the case man I just want a good matchup and I want it to be uh, if it's not Cody I want it to be anybody other than Shane just give me a cool surprise and for our main event of night one we have Ronda Rousey and Charlotte Flair for the Smackdown Women's Championship I love Ronda I think this build has been garbage I'm glad that she's back but again this build has been terrible she doesn't look like she wants to be there it's been very very boring promos and roboticness and very awkward. I do not like what we've seen there, but hopefully the matchup does deliver. I'm going to go Ronda to win the championship at the end of night one, and hopefully that will be the case here, man, unless she's just riding off into the sunset for a quick little program. I'm going to go Ronda winning the title. I hope the matchup is good. That's really all I can say. I am looking forward to this matchup in the ring, but again, man, the build has no investment from it. You know, I, I'm not like on the edge of my seat. I just hope for a good match, man. I know that's a lot of what we've heard today, but that will kick off our night one man, Ronda Rousey, taking the championship from Charlotte Flair, leading into night two. So starting things off with night two, man, we have the Fatal 4-Way Women's Tag Team Championship match. You guys, uh, a lot of you already know how I feel about the Women's Tag Team Championships, man, and uh, anyways, let's just get into it. Queen Zelina and Carmella, your champions, defending against Sasha Banks and Naomi, Rhea Ripley and Liv Morgan, Natalya and Shayna Baszler here. Honestly, just hope for a good match again, uh, one that I don't care about the outcome of. I I'd like to see Sasha and Naomi win, or Ripley and Liv Morgan. I think Rhea, Ripley, and Liv Morgan would be the team that I'd most like to see, but I'd be fine with Sasha and Naomi as well. I just don't want to see the champions retain or Natalya and Shayna Baszler win the titles. Not that it would really, I'd care that much, but I think, you know, in terms of quality champions, I think that Naomi and Sasha or Ripley and Liv Morgan would be really cool, but hopefully the match delivers. That's really all you can ask for. For prediction's sake, I'm going to go Sasha Banks and Naomi, man. I think that's what they're going to do here, but I'd be cool with another team winning. Let's just, let's move on to the next one. Next up, guys, we have Sami Zayn going up with Johnny Knox feel anything goes mass is what this is being branded as hopefully it's a fun one all over the uh, all over the arena here i think johnny knoxville will probably do something crazy i can see him doing some ridiculous spot jackass level spot maybe he gets help from like his goon friends or something like that that would be pretty cool and funny i never thought in my million years we'd be seeing a matchup like this but Sami Zayn and johnny knoxville again i just hope that it's a fun match you know i hope it's a fun match and one thing that it just
just put together. Isn't it kind of wild how, like, back in the day, you know, when WrestleMania first started, it was a lot of celebrities and stuff like that, and we got away from that, and it was mostly just superstars and wrestlers and stuff, and now we're coming back more into a heavy celebrity WrestleMania season, kind of, so that's kind of weird. I guess with, like, social media and the way that all works, it's a lot bigger. I don't know. It's kind of wild, isn't it? It's, it's, I just think that's funny, but I'm gonna go, uh, I'm gonna go Johnny Knoxville. I'm gonna go Johnny Knoxville for the win. You know, they're gonna do Sammy Dirty here. I'm gonna go Johnny Knoxville for the win here. Again, another one that I don't really care about, but it should be entertaining. Next up, guys, we have Austin Theory going up with Pat McAfee. Now, I love Pat McAfee. I think he's fantastic, but again, I really don't want to see him on WrestleMania, you know? I, I think he did great in his other matches that he's had before. It's just one of those things, man. I don't know what it is. I just don't like celebrities in wrestling for whatever reason. It's just one of those things. I don't, I don't, I can't really explain it, but again, it'll probably be a fun athletic matchup. Pat McAfee, we know his experience. Austin Theory is a pretty good athlete here, so should be a fun one. I'm gonna go with Austin Theory picking up the win. I'd love to see Pat win, but I think, you know, Austin Theory probably needs this win, to be honest with you. You know, you can try to get that big dub un under the belt there. So I'm gonna go Austin Theory, but at the same time, after that, Pat McAfee losing, going back to commentary, kind of kind of confusing times right there. So I don't know. I, I think I'm gonna roll with Austin Theory. I wouldn't be shocked if Pat won. I'd actually be intrigued if Pat won, given that I like him a lot more than Austin Theory, but I'm just gonna predict Theory to get the win. Next up is the Triple Threat Tag Team Match for the Raw Tag Team Championships. RK Bro defending against the Street Profits and Alpha Academy. I expect this matchup to be damn good. I'm actually really looking forward to this. I think Nat, Night 2, I'm a lot more excited for Night 2 than Night 1, I think. Maybe they can balance each other out, but maybe the card for Night 1 is just abysmal. Nonetheless, man, this one should be really, really fun. I'm going to go with RK Bro retaining here. I think both sets of tag titles for the men's side are retained here. I'm going to go RK Bro for the win, hopefully, and I think it'll be pretty fun. I, I mean, I could see all three teams winning. I could see, uh, absolutely, all three of these teams could easily walk out with a goal, but I'm going to go RK Bro, hopefully retaining here for my boys, and I'm going to be going over my boy Randy and Riddle here. Next up is Bobby Lashley versus Omos in a singles match. I, oh god, man, just another match, just another, let's let's just, let me count how many matches are on this, this WrestleMania weekend that I either A, don't care about the outcome, two, am not invested in the match, or three, don't think it's a WrestleMania worthy matchup. Let me count them. One, two, three, four. Four, five, six, seven. Literally like half of these matches. It's like seven or eight, maybe six, six, seven, eight, somewhere in there. Crazy. I'm gonna go Omos getting the win here just because I think they want Omos to be the next big thing, you know, the big show, even though he's not nearly as talented as Big Show, I don't think. I think Omos gets the win here, the big man overcoming Bobby Lashley. You know, you have a he'd have a big win over a champion, a former world champion at WrestleMania. I think that's what they're going for here. I'm gonna go Omos for the win, even though I don't agree with it. Probably the matchup that I'm most looking forward to man. Edge versus AJ Styles. A dream match for a whole lot of people, including me. I am very much looking forward to this one, man. Just This is, should absolutely slap. I hope that it delivers. You know, we've had this intrigue before, right? AJ Styles has had some great opponents at WrestleMania before and it's been a floppy one. It definitely would upset me if this one were to flop. I don't think it's going to flop. I think that Edge and AJ Styles have very much the capabilities to have a banger and I think we're going to get that right here, man. Oof. Edge has this new heel character here. AJ Styles has been plummeting ever since coming. You know, he was with Omos for a while there. The phenomenal AJ Styles has not been around in a long time. I think that could write a great story here with him coming back into prominence, but does he get the, ring, the win here in this first match? I don't think so. I'm going to go Edge. I'm going to go Edge to get the win over AJ Styles. Even though I can see it going either way, I'm going to predict Edge. And I really don't want to, but I feel like in this menacing heel character coming back right here, he needs it. But at the same time, AJ Styles coming back into form as phenomenal AJ Styles. I feel like he may need the win too. So it's honestly a toss-up, but I'm going to predict Edge, final answer. I don't feel confident about my picks, but we'll see what happens. And last but not least, our main event of night two, Brock Lesnar, the WWE Champion versus Roman Reigns, the Universal Champion with Paul Heyman. Winner take all to unify the titles. Even though I've heard it's not even a unification match, like the winner will not carry around both titles. So I don't know if they've changed that, where they'll go from there. But this is what we're left with, man. Brock Lesnar and Roman Reigns main eventing yet again another WrestleMania. This is their like eighth match in the saga of these two. No Seth Rollins looming over their head with a Money in the Bank contract. So I don't know where they're going here, but I will say Roman Reigns is going to win. I, th I think this show goes off the air 
with Dwayne The Rock Johnson or something big, man. I think something big happens at the end of the show, setting up WrestleMania 39 or something like that. I could see that possibly taking place here. But Roman Reigns is winning. I think Roman Reigns will be double champion or unification champ or whatever the hell the thing is. I just think that Roman Reigns is your champion. He's been building, uh, he's been built up really well. He's been winning and he's been doing the best work of his career. And so I think that Roman Reigns will beat Brock, pin him there, and hold both titles. Or he's going to be the winner take all. He is taking all here. I got Roman Reigns, no doubt about it. I just hope for a really, really good match. I think that these guys have some good chemistry. I think the story will be beautiful. So I'm picking Roman and that wraps up WrestleMania 38. So I do believe that something's going to happen at the end of the show. Maybe The Rock or, or something's going on there, but we'll have to find out. But that wraps up my WrestleMania 38 predictions, man. I know that, you know, just, uh, again, I hate that the card is not the best here for night one and night two, but I hope, again, when the when the card looks abysmal and when the card doesn't have the best, you know, stuff on paper, it usually over-delivers. I'm pretty sure that ha that's happened so many times before where WWE has put out a terrible card and it just slaps. So hopefully that will be the case here. It could go down as one of the most slept-on manias of all time, especially heading into it, man. I mean, that's no doubt about it, but I hope that it delivers and outperforms all my expectations but i'm getting out of here man thank you for watching subscribe to the channel i'll see you guys in the next video leave your predictions down below i'll see you guys in the next one and don't cross the line like half this mania card you cross the line i've been